As you can see here, we looked at a whole lot of information about three elements in the alkali metals. We looked at information on lithium, sodium, and potassium. Lithium, the symbol Li, has an electron configuration of 1s2, 2s1. If we look down at sodium, element number 11, atomic number 11, its electron configuration 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s1, and then further down, potassium, atomic number 19, electron configuration 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, and 4s1. You can notice all of these elements have as their last electron a s orbital that that one electron is in. So it's 2s, 3s, and 4s1, respectively. Now what this means is, is that the outside electron of all of these elements, there's only one electron. And so they have similar outside electron configurations. And the outside electrons are called the valence electrons. Looking just to the right of the 2s1, the 3s1, and the 4s1 are uh, diagrams of atoms. The energy levels. The little dot in the middle next to the 2s1 is the nucleus of lithium. And then there are two energy levels. The first ring you don't see anything on, and those there are actually two electrons there, and those are the 1s electrons, so there's two electrons there. And then there is the second energy level, which has one electron on it. If we look down at sodium, there are three rings, and the 3s one electron is on the third ring. It's just a lone electron out there. And then potassium, if you look there closely, there are four rings with the one electron right at the top of the P in potassium hydroxide, just below the rings. And uh, so that one is also just one electron. If you also notice, as you move from lithium to sodium to potassium, that electron gets farther and farther away from the nucleus. And that does ha play a role in the reactivity of these elements, how reactive they are. Now the next thing to notice is the chemical equation for the reaction of these elements, the alkali metals, with water. Lithium, Li, 2 Li, 2 lithium atoms plus 2 H2O, 2 water molecules, makes, that's the arrow, yields, H2 hydrogen gas and two lithium hydroxide molecules. You look at sodium, it has the same equation, except for sodium is substituted in for lithium. They form hydroxides, lithium hydroxide and sodium hydroxide, which are bases, which is a little bit of the opposite of an acid. And then potassium has exactly the same, except for potassium substituted in for lithium or sodium and it has the same chemical equation. So they re react similar, similarly, they behave similarly, but they get a little more energetic as you move down the family. Now if we could predict about rubidium, which is just below potassium, and cesium, which is below rubidium, we might predict that they are reactive and to a greater degree than the other ones. So they get pretty, pretty energetic. Now watch the other video and you can see what we're talking about in terms of energy. Remember, it has to do with similar kinds of electron configurations and how far those electrons are away from the nucleus of the atom. So enjoy the other video by the Brainiacs.